Hey wrestling fans, thanks for clicking on the Dreaded D. Rose report. You know, looks like another airliner went down. 300, about 300 people lost and uh, what's that saying that a famous guy supposedly said years and years ago? Why can't we just all get along? Hey, apparently uh, Santino Morella's neck is so bad that he's going to have to go undergo, uh, undergo fusion surgery at some point, which I think is what um, Edge had to go through. Santino's been uh, promoting his own wrestling school at his battle arts school in Canada. Uh, Santino wants to show, you know, to be like the battle arts promotion in uh, Japan, I guess, which is a shoot style, but it's a work, which is uh, with more realistic in-ring action and uh, more uh, focus on submissions, I guess. Former WWE star and current New Japan star Harry HD, or, uh, D. H. Smith recently appeared on Santino's show. And August 11th, Hulk Hogan is going to be hosting the final Raw before SummerSlam on August 11th, Portland, Oregon, at the uh, Moda Center, it looks like. And uh, I don't know whether that means he's, I don't think he's going to be at, he may be at SummerSlam, maybe he's going to host SummerSlam. At least Raw, anyway. WWE Shop website's now selling if you got the extra money. $295 Macho Man Randy Savage statue from Todd McFarlane. Uh, only 500 of the 16 inch resin statues were made and uh, it comes with an authentic piece of banner from WrestleMania 5. And by the way, if you noticed, uh, the uh, WWE earlier pulled CM Punk's merchandise off of the website. Well, don't worry, it's back on there. Don't know what happened. Maybe they just switched things around. Uh, Cicero, he's still being planned for a babyface push, but not likely won't happen until WWE needs it to happen, which likely would be after Roman Reigns has his big push and establishes himself, and then they can start working on somebody. They can only work on a couple people at a time. There are rumors that WWE cuts were made within the last week, and uh, might be hearing confirmation on uh, the department soon, but reiterated by the sources that uh, WWE recently told all department heads across the company to make the cuts. Haven't heard of uh, how many or who they were yet, but it'll come out. They got to make it known public for, because they're a public company. Uh, it appears that uh, this week that Sting has uh, reached a deal with WWE other than video game deal as the company begins selling Sting merchandise once the game announcement was was uh, made. Uh, Wrestling Observer though reports that uh, still no deal has been signed as of Wednesday but both sides are still working on getting things signed and Sting's likeness though used on you know the merchandise and considered uh, intellectual property of WCW which WWE purchased in 2001, and WWE believes they have the right to merchandise the, the product, which they could have years ago. Note before, John Laronitis, of all people, ran WWE's recent tour of Japan and had help from Paul Heyman putting together some of the matches, which is, <laughs> they're probably glad Heyman helped. One of the Cicero versus Kofi Kingston matches was booked like uh, a match between maybe two Japanese legends. NXT champion Adrian Neville and Sami Zayn worked uh, four uh, years in Japan and were allowed to do more Japanese style matches on their tour. Dean Ambrose asked if he could uh, work like Terry Funk and did some of the uh, Funk babyface spots against Seth Rollins. <laughs> I wish they'd let him do it here on TV or somewhere. Now over in Japan, Tokyo, Japan on uh, July 10th, uh, 5,000 fans. The next day on 11th in Tokyo, 11,000. Uh, Ashka was uh, 5,000 fans. Then they came back to Madison Square Garden, drew about 12,000 fans. Wildwood, New Jersey, 3,400. Richmond, Virginia, 7,500 for a Raw. And WWE's uh, Seth Rollins and indie wrestler uh, Mark Brave are launching a new wrestling school. It's called Black and Brave Wrestling School, Moline, uh, Illinois, drove over that way. Big Show's return to WWE TV is imminent as the role in uh, WWE Studios' Vendetta finishes, finished filming, I guess, on July 13th. My son's birthday. Uh, as noted before, Sheamus and The Miz are scheduled to do a long-term program. The idea behind the fuse is going to be The Miz is obsessed with his Hollywood moneymaker face, and Sheamus is promising to bro-kick Miz's uh, in the face. 
or in his moneymaker, which I always thought your moneymaker was somewhere else. Anyway, Matt uh, Tensai Bloom, Prince Albert, Albert, uh, I don't know what else you want to call him, recently moved to uh, Orlando and is now coaching talent at the Performance Center. He's still doing uh, announce work for NXT, though. There's still a lot of uh, Total Diva filming going on uh, this week, and there's rumors that a trip to the Caribbean that uh, some of the Total Divas made last week was for Eva Marie's bachelorette party. Uh, not confirmed, but I hope that's going to be on there. I'll for sure watch that. TNA star Nux turns 36 years old today, while former uh, knockout Daphne with the big screaming mouth, 39 years old, former knockout Lacey Von Eric, turned 28. She just couldn't wrestle at all. Uh, also, today would have been the 55th birthday of former WCW Randy Anderson. Uh, tonight's, uh, well, it's not over yet. Tonight's uh, taped episode of TNA Wrestling will be the first episode from New York City that's going to be featuring the return of the six-sided ring. Matches announced going to be Rob, Bobby Roode and Eric Young uh, taking on MVP and Kenny King. Uh, Rhino and uh, Carter taking on Dreamer and Bully Ray. X Division title match going to be Sonata. Uh, Crazy Steve, uh, Eddie Edwards, Richards, uh, Manic, Tiger Ono, uh, DJ Zima, um, oh, there you are, and uh, Austin Aries. Plus, Jeff Hardy's going to be taking on Bobby Lashley for the world title. And as known to TNA's world uh, heavyweight champion, Bobby Lashley has signed to fight at Bellator MMA 123 on um, September 5th at. Uh, uh, in uh, Connecticut, the event's going to be airing on Spike TV. Lashley's opponent last night will, uh, or that night, will be uh, Josh Burns, who has a eight and seven record. Lashley has a ten and two record. Uh, TNA's Bellator's uh, King Mo will also will be on the card. Uh, I guess they give up on doing anything with King Mo. All right, WWE will tape the, another four episodes of NXT TV uh, from Full Sail University, from Winter Park, Florida, uh, tonight, and we'll have live. Um, let's see. Oh, that's going to be. Oh, some of the other people's going to be there. I guess it's going to be Bray Wyatt and uh, Rowan and Harper. And after, uh, let's see. Oh, an issue alert. WWE issued an alert, an alert to certain international fans the, this week to offer them a test run of the WWE Network. Uh, that lasts until August 4th. The test program is limited to 2,000 users and includes free access to the entire network. The test program allows users to use the network on their computers through their Apple or Android app. Uh, this is going to be a part of WWE preparing to launch the international launch of the network next year. I know a lot of you people, you know, uh, uh, listen to me can't get the network over there, so just hang on. Maybe you get in on the early edition of this. And uh, note that WWE is going to be running a rare Monday Night Live event on uh, December 9th. Uh, you know, this is non-TV taping, what I'm talking about. Richmond, Virginia, while the final Raw of the year is happening in Washington, D.C. They're doing it because it's the week after Christmas, I guess, and the best weekend of the year to draw, especially when... The kids come, uh, the, 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 when it comes to kids, they want to do something. Or give them a Christmas gift, take them there. And while doing social media for Hercules this week, The Rock made a stop in San Francisco to film a scene for San Andreas, and local NBC affiliates report that neighbors and businesses around the neighborhood complained about the streets being closed off for the filming, but pin, pin, uh, you know, the permits were still issued. And we noted before Hulk Hogan being added to WWE's tour of Japan did help the ticket sales and Hogan's return to the country was seen as a big deal. When Hogan arrived at the uh, airport, there were more than 100 reporters and photographers uh, waiting on him. Hogan appeared um, on two network talk shows and eight print inter interviews. Hogan himself coming in was bigger <laughs> in the media than the WWE tour as a whole. Oh well. <laughs> Let's see. Thanks for clicking, you guys. I gotta go.